Hey, welcome back to the Pizza Tower. It's a good to see you. Well, have a seat. Uh, what can I get for your Pizza Tower, huh? I wonder how many people just turn the video off after that, especially if they're a newcomer. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> well, welcome back, everybody, to Pizza Tower. I am your host, Old Director Jester, here with the Niskel. Today is our sixth episode in our ongoing playthrough of Pizza Tower, the smash hit indie game from Tour to Pizza. Today we're doing the Vigilante! It is... Pepino versus the Vigilante! Outlaws, beware. Things a little different this time around because, uh... We, ha we have to use a gun. Yeah! He won't fight us unless we use the gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine, then we'll use it. Okay. This, I think, is the hardest to pee right yep. now, because it already hurts. Yeah. He's, he's got... He's, he's very relentless, <sighs> very aggressive. You can charge your bullets, but you can't really, like, hold it. it it's, it's like a time to charge. Yeah. It's, it, it's tough. All right, let's let's uh, go a few more playthroughs in. This took me about 45 minutes to, to do correctly. You can deflect the bullets. You I can, didn't even think about that. You can parry the bullets, yes. Oh, that's so good. You can parry I, about anything, almost. I had so much trouble with this boss. I mean, yeah, screw actually getting a P-Rag. I actually had trouble just winning. You know, hey, whoop, yeah. th through pure whoop. tour de force, I was able to finally do it, but man... Being able to deflect the bullets is a game changer I didn't even consider. He's got a very uh, set uh, way of doing things, but the only RNG is uh, those those dummies that drop down. You can kill the ghosts too. His, his pappy's ghost will come oh. and, and mess with you as well. You can shoot him. He'll trying to mess you up and all that. I did. Oh, I, I also just... throw out a flamethrower. Oh my! He's trying everything he, to take out Pepino. He's, he's got a large arsenal. Uh, I'm also uh, doing this thing where I'm uh, body slamming. That's so, unintentional. Oh. See, I just thought you were showing me some new tech. Like, this is how you actually just stop. I've got a very sensitive uh, D-pad, and any time that I even think about going down, I while jumping, I slam down. Right here. The oh my god! Oh my god, he can't be stopped? He can't be stopped? He's immortal? Holy shit! Wait, wait what? I, I, I think I found a little loop here. Oops. Uh -oh. uh, uh -oh. I, think, I think we're good. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, well, Alright, I got I got two of those things on there. Maybe uh, well, I uh, well uh, Is he even hitting me? Uh, okay, we're good. Oh, he wasn't actually even hitting you. Wow. Alright, exploit found. <laughs> that, that proves how big your hitbox is for parrying. Yeah, this was the the half that, that got me the most. Like after I got down the patterns of all of his different arsenal, it was this right here. Everything's silhouetted, he's mixing everything up, and a little bit more aggressive oh! too. Oh, I was so close. All right, well, here's the run. All right, here here's, we go. Here's how you really spank him. You gotta charge as he's about to turn back into his thing, because you can just fire that and take a couple more shots, and there you go. And... Oh, I thought you were gonna... You were gonna do it again there, Bucko, because I just did it singular shots. like this. Oh, that's pretty good tech. If you time it right, he won't even have a chance to do his attack in that phase. Ooh. This one's a little hard to do because he jumps, yeah, up, in he jumps up in the air immediately, yeah. but... That's okay, it's a bit predictable, just make sure you jump good. I've also disabled, uh, I think it's joystick, uh, ground pound. So now whenever I press down, I won't ground pound, and that won't eat up my inputs. And there's flamethrower. It's a, and... if, you, if you're having problems, try that, it makes things way easier. There we go. Alright, phase two, here we go. If you, if you do things just right, you can make it so he doesn't even get up. I like it, I like hearing cheese. Especially when we're fighting a glob of cheese. Is that what Vigilante is? Glob of cheese? I like to think so. It's either cheese or dough. I can never tell. Because he's able to, like, slither across the ground. It's kind of disgusting to say, but he can do it. Oh my god, he summons cows. I forgot about oh, this. Yep. You can destroy the cows, though. Oh, that's good. But don't be greedy. How greedy did you get? Well, ah! just it's, it's, it's better to avoid damage than to okay. take that extra shot. Not gonna lie, I thought the Vigilante was you, and I thought you were about to get hit. I, I can't keep track of you, because in the silhouette, you kind of look the same. Replace Samurai Kirby? <laughs> and, the, and of course I forget what the button for draw is because I'm so nervous. Oh, God. Nice! Yeah, and that's a P rank for the Vigilante! It took me about like 40 minutes to do. Wow! <laughs> Hey, you did it! But I did it, though! You did done did it! 
That was and impressive. It, and it makes it so nice to just sit back and watch him just... Yeah! Ah, oh, I love to see it. Henshin Pepino, baby. And that is... Floor 2! Two hours. Complete two minutes. I know. <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> two so minutes. Funny. Two minutes. Funny. Ticks over to the hour mark. Oh my. Yay! Look at that. Beautiful. So I'm a little too excited to get to the third floor. I forgot about the secret. We'll go back for it. We will. Because I think we skipped uh, my favorite NPC, which is okay. Who's your favorite NPC? The one that says, your name is Pepino Spaghetti. That's unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> okay, it's got to, like, run up to the corner here and then ooh we're at the ravine I think this is a mechanic that didn't get past too far in its beta phase do not pound don't <gasps> grab the meatball <laughs> <laughs> I found my favorite NPC <laughs> I can't even grab him so yeah, so can't grab the meatball and do not pound. So there was going to be a level where you couldn't ground pound or anything like that? I, I want to think that maybe by doing that, he'd like leap up in the air and you take him and throw him and destroy certain blocks. Mm, okay. Maybe the level didn't develop all that way, or the, the, the mechanic didn't work all that way through. But uh, yeah. All right, let me just uh, do a little bit of reset into my joystick ground pound. Okay. There, there, all right, there we go. Back to where we need to go. Ta-da! On to floor three! New territory for me. Welcome to floor three! Wow. Well, uh, let's just jump right into it. This is our next stage. Six Crust seven. Cove. Oh my god, that artwork. <laughs> That's fantastic. Ew! What the hell are we in? I don't know. What the hell was that? How'd you know it was there? This is for a chef's task. This is uh, for an uh, achievement called X. Find all the booty? There are seven X's on the ground. If you look oh, closely, there was boy. a red X there. There are seven of them in the level. We find them. You don't have to kill the treasure being that comes out, but find them all and there's your achievement. But you're gonna want to because they give you tons of fucking points. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ah! Oh, there it is. We need to go get it. There it was. There it was. There it will be again. Get up there, Pepino! I know. We beat the vigilante. It's exciting. <laughs> get out of here. What's your opinion on stuffed crust? I love it. Okay. Have you only had just like bog standard, you know, mozzarella cheese in there? Or have you had any of the specialty crust? I've had sauce stuffed crust. Sauce stuffed? Ooh. Is that a game changer? Oh, they have pepperoni stuffed crust. They have pizza stuffed crust pizza now. What? What a time to be alive, my friend. I didn't even know that. I think you just, I think you just opened my third eye for pizza. P oh, pizza, pizza, man. It's, it is It is all about expression. <laughs> you almost had like a beatbox beat going on. A pizza, 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 man. P pizza, pi pizza Wee time. <laughs> this is barrel mode. Oh, I love it. Basically just an unstoppable rolling mode. Ah, uh, this is great. You can't stop. What a fun power. You know, that has to be one of the things that makes me smile about the Wario games and now Pizza Tower, is you could have you could have had a power for anything. You, you want to be a vampire? Sure, be a vampire. You want to be on fire, but it not actually kill you, and then you turn to ashes? Sure. Okay, so, uh, next chef task. Let's for one of these guys to shoot his shot. Come on. Uh, oh, oh deflect a shot. A little too, a little too much. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fight me. There you go. Boom. Hey, good job. <laughs> you know what? It's okay if you fail. Oh, there you go. It, it makes me laugh. Oh, barrel mode again. So we gotta go all the way over here and then all the way back. Whee, whee. Is it gaining momentum? I don't know. It seemed like it did, but that might be just a trick of my eyes. Because uh, gradual, perpetual momentum is certainly what this game is capable of. Right, right. Mach 4 will continue to go faster and faster. I think somebody did a test. I was I was really into watching like Pizza Tower videos, even though I hadn't finished the game. So I accidentally spoiled myself. It's fine. But the one thing I was looking at is somebody saw how fast you actually go when Mach 4 continuously builds speed. You can outrun the screen. Too damn fast is what. Too damn fast. Uh, Jerome's up there. Just gonna up here like that. 
An exact measurement. How fast is Pepino going? Oh, too damn fast. You know, I... Is the modding scene huge on this game? It is gigantic. Okay, good. People make... I've heard of lap 3 and lap 4. I've, I've seen rank L. What the hell is that? There's mean? apparently a mod called... called L rank. Where you can take more than two, more than three, up to ten laps. Why? It adds more time as you take additional laps, of course. But if you do ten laps, you get what's called L rank. Oh. Oh, hey, somebody's playing Street Fighter. <laughs> I thought about disabling these, but I think it adds to the experience. <laughs> it adds to the experience of Pizza Tower, yeah. Let everybody know what console I'm playing on. <laughs> PC. I can't. Yep, what the oh! No, 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 no. oh my god. Yeah, just going what everywhere. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you have too much pizza sauce. You just go absolutely nuts. You see, we, we need to understand what. We need to put a definition on vodka sauce here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one down here. Oh god, the instantaneous just. Just more barrels. Adds to my enjoyment of the game if I just give. Pepino a backstory for every single one of these levels. Like, this is what happens when you try to figure out the ingredients. Like, how much water do you put in the dough to make the perfect crust? Well, there is a lot of alleged lore here. I mean, it, none of it is implicitly stated, but... He knows how to use a gun, and I know of one other level in this, uh, in this game that, uh, shows off some extra lore. They think he's a tortured war vet. I wouldn't say tortured. I would just say, you know, he didn't like where he was. One, two, three. You're good. What? Parry three times. There are three rats in the way. There you go. But I didn't see anything pop up. What do you mean? Because they, because they went behind them. No, I didn't see an achievement pop up. No, it's for that secret. Oh. I got it. Oh, Sorry, another I Another one. You... Yoink. Eh. I know, it's, it's, it's fast paced. So much going on, so much happening. Like here. Oh, oh, God. oh no! Oh, well, it's, it's pizza, pizza time. time! Let's go! Alright, here we go. Oh, oh. Yep, in barrel mode. We got one more secret and the treasure room. Yeah, good luck, buddy. And I think, uh, one more X? Oh, so we haven't even seen the end of this. No. Nah. And you get out of barrel mode just to go back into barrel mode, but I guess you did have a ladder to go up. Time for some absolution, and there's the here, last Here we go! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! That gift just sent you flying! You've hurt Pepino ten times, my dude. The other chef's task is clearing without getting hit by explosions, which we've um, yeah, done definitely have done. That's alright. Pepino will forgive you, maybe. I hope he does. Who was that, like, lawyer guy that was up in your TV after you got hit ten times? Was that, like, the secret police about to take you, the player, out for hurting Pepino too much? There are special faces that show up when you hit Pepino a specific amount of times. That's the one you see when you hit him ten times. I think it's a, Rod I think it's a Rodney Dangerfield uh, reference. He's like, huh, oh, jeez, no respect here. Jeez, shit, no, no respect. I, I think that's Pepino as Rodney Dangerfield. Hey, look, we got a drink! We got a drink menu now! All right! Oh, dude, we're Where gonna... are we gonna get to the fancy tiny umbrellas, huh? Well, Where I mean, do you even buy those? That's the next treasure. <laughs> You're just hurting him so much! That doesn't count as hurting, that's just... <laughs> oh, just get, getting you out, uh, getting you in the water. You can't run on the water. Oh. So there's always something in that water that, that uh, shoots you up. It doesn't count as hurting. But it, uh... I love that the Toppins also strike a pose. Many poses, too. I saw one of them just, like, have a... Ah! Face. Fabulous. That's all the Toppins. Doing a good job so far of getting all the Toppins on our first run. You could probably pay the... Pay the debt man right now, right? Yep. yep. <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, we could if we wanted to, but, uh, we don't... <laughs> let's that get- face. let's get that other chef's task, what do you say? That face! Oh my god, I love it! That just gives me Sonic CD standing for too long vibes. <laughs> I'm out of here! I'm out of here! Yo! <laughs> jumps off the screen and dies. 
Oh. Wow, you must have sucked us so bad in the Pizza Tower 2 and get the game over! And you know, it kind of it kind of shocked me uh, when I saw the um, uh, the rankings at the end. I keep forgetting that indie games can kind of get away with a lot more, no matter how cartoony the style. I, for some reason, thought, oh, it was a, it was a little uh, a game that kids can play. And then isn't one of the rankings just like, uh, wow, you're shit! You suck. You suck. But I swear there's a, a, a curse word in one of them, and it just, I don't know, for some reason, it just took me aback. My monocle kind of nudged a little bit. Yeah, it's called holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there it is. Holy shit! Or it's like, wow, you're fast as shit or something. I love it. I mean, there is a level in this game called Oh Shit. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. It's called Oh Shit. Well, that just solidifies it. All right. Rated T for teens. I, I, yeah, I think this is a definitely a, a good hard T, you know, for the rude, crude and crude humor. I haven't seen a lot of the crude humor. I mean, I've obviously seen some because of the, uh, the stages I've played. But now we're in new territory. I can't wait to see what happens next. Well, the noise flips you off in his boss run. I it's have a, seen that, okay. It's a, it's a rude gesture. Oh, oh uh, yeah, you know about the noise, right? Yes. Uh, do you know what his full name is? He has a full name. He, he has a full name, yes. Uh, the noise is uh, that little gremlin that we see in, in yellow. Yes. Annoying him sometimes. You know, the one who gave him the milk. Yes. His full name is Theodore Noise. <laughs> the Noise. Oh, jeez. Well, that's just crude humor if I've ever <laughs> seen it. Take this guy out! We were, uh, we were discussing the sound library that this game uses uh, in both its music and in its sound effects. Uh, they're all from a free sound library, but a lot of cartoons have also used some of these sound effects. And that, I guess that's where my, my thought that, oh, you know, cartoon game, funny. Because I've heard these sound effects before. And they're used here to great effect. You can tell that, the, that uh, the devs here really have an appreciation for cartoons. Good uh, animated comedy. Saturday morning cartoon fans. Slapstick. Mm-hmm. Definitely slapstick. Like maybe the sequel will bring in Tom stop, and Jerry if stop, they. Stop, stop, and go, 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 go! Ooh, he shoots extra. I didn't know that. As fast as humanly possible. <laughs> okay, we're good. So, what was that goblin there? What what topping was he on pizza? This guy? Yeah, that's a uh, Captain Goblin. Oh, he, he's just a goblin. Okay, he's, he's just a goblin. Hey, uh, what are the? Uh, I'm I'm kind of blanking here. What are the? Uh, what are the little fish that you can put on pizza? Anchovies. Anchove this dick in your mouth. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm yeah, sorry. Well, I'm sorry, that was crude humor. <laughs> Rated T for teen, you know. Yeah, we know what other what other kind of meat they put on sausage. On sausage? Yeah. Uh, uh I, hmm. It's called eat a dick. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and that's when I found Left out. Two, let's go. That UDJ just shut my ass down. Pizza Tower guy again. Wait, what? That was him again. Who? Who? It was the Pizza Tower guy? Who's that? That was the dev. Oh, I didn't even see him! The bar was in the way! So before, uh, the game was released, the dev of this game was known as Pizza Tower Guy, because, you know, just one guy making a pizza game, you uh -huh. know, he's, he's Pizza Tower Guy. Now he's called McPig. Oh, oh, it was the pig that was down there, right? Or did I completely it was, miss it? Uh, at this point, he's still Pizza Tower Guy. Oh. So you see Pizza Tower Guy down there, but now he's McPig. Now he's a pig. Okay. You just so, support him in this transition. So what happened, uh, like, in version 1.0? Was he a Pizza Tower guy, or, like, did he get patched into pigdom, or...? Well, uh, there was a, a radical shift uh, a couple years back, I guess. The uh, the UI looked a lot different. Pepino's face yeah. was a lot different. They had to, their entire levels were cut, or at least we uh, reworked it into different ones. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing a couple screenshots of the, at least the demo or the beta or whatnot, uh, I don't think the TV was even there, was it? Or it was radically different? It was still a TV, but it was it was very different. Uh, this wasn't a bar. This was like, you know, kind of like a like a P-gauge in Mario 3. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah, I remember seeing that. How was that not Ness? 
Oh, I mean, you did skip toppings. I skipped toppings, I skipped secrets. That's what you need for an S rank. Shoot. But it's still okay. Yeah, good job on that lap, too. Next time on Pizza Tower, we're gonna be looking more into floor three here. This is where things start ramping up in different. Oh, 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 look. They well. made up! They're friends now! What a good time for them to be friends because we're gonna be checking in on their friendship later on, that's for sure. You know what? Hold my boombox. Break it down! Let's dance! See you next time on Pizza Tower! What?